So first let's see Orsid. What is Orsid? Have anyone gone through what is Orsid? It is open researcher and contributor identifier. Basically, uh, we have to sign in. So sign in or register. Those who are going to use this Orsid, it's nothing but open researcher and contributor identifier to identify the researcher in the community, in a particular community. So we have to sign in or we have to register. If we are a new register, we have to register properly and we have to get, we have to note the number. This is our ORSID number for each and every individual. Separately, every individual will have a different ORSID number. That is 16 digit number. So what are all it contains? It contains emails, websites, other IDs, keywords and the countries. Next, how to go about it? First, we have to uh, enroll our mail ID, which is the primary mail of that particular researcher. So I have entered here. Next, the second thing is website and social links. So what are all websites? Usually all the researchers, not all the researchers, a few researchers will have their own websites. Yes, we can link here. Now here I have linked Publons. One is Publons, the second one is ResearchGate. So two IDs I have registered here. Even if you want social links like LinkedIn, uh, Facebook or Twitter accounts, all these things you can link here. So you can do whatever changes you want here. First, see when if I want to add a new link, add another link, link title and link URL. Link title can be Scopus. For example, if I want to add my Scopus ID, I can use Scopus here. And URL I have to paste here and I have to save changes. So this is the main thing which I have to do here. The next one is other IDs. Here I have included my Scopus author ID and one if you want, we can add here and save changes. The next very important for a researcher to be identified in the research pool. If I'm a researcher in uh, stem cells and regenerative medicine under orthopedics, I have to add what are all the keywords to identify me in the community. So I can add n number of keywords here. Then countries, which all the um, basically we belong to India. And if at all we are uh, doing research with some other country, we can add those countries and we can give a credit also. Next comes to the main thing. Here comes the name, biography. Here I have not completed my complete profile, but I have added a few things here. So name, here you can add, excuse me. Here I'm adding, see I'm editing here. Here we can give uh, our original names, like my name is Madan Jairaman. So that I can give published name is nothing but in few publications, our names will be given like last name will come at the first and the first name will be the last. So Jairam and Madan and some pet names. If we want to add some other name like pet name or nickname, whatever it is, we can add here and we can do save changes. The next one is biography. Biography is nothing but telling about ourselves what we are, what I am here. So basically, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, uh, research scholar. I'm doing a research on stem cells and regenerative medicine. All those things I can add here as a short biography. The next thing is activities. Here in activities, we have certain uh, five to six items here. So for the first activity is the employment. Where I'm currently employed and last employed. Those two things I have added here. So we have to add in which college, which university we belong to from and see here in this idea, I have mentioned School of Medical Sciences and Research, Sharda University, New Delhi. From and to, from which date to which date I have worked there. So that I can add here. Now I am currently working in Tamil Nadu, some uh, Dr. MGR Educational Research Institute University. From which date till, till date I have added. The next one is education and qualifications. Education is nothing but where all we have done our UG post graduation. All those education, even schooling also we can add here. And qualification is undergraduate qualification, postgraduate and postdoctoral fellowship qualifications we can add. The same thing from and to till date. The next important thing is invited positions and distinctions. A few universities can call us for a adjunct visiting faculty. Those invited positions can be recorded here. See, here there is an option called add. We can add it. Add invited position, add distinction. Then comes the membership. Since I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a researcher in uh, stem cell and uh, regenerative medicine, I can add 
all the memberships whichever i have got so i have i, I can add indian orthopedic association membership tamil nadu orthopedics delhi orthopedics then indian stem cell study group international association of stem cell and regenerative medicine all these things i can see here there is an option called add we can add it up here membership and services next comes the funding yes i am currently involved in a lot of funded projects by korean university so i can add those fundings here see the manual link search link search and link up. if i add search and link i can add the funding information here so this can be cross verified as well fund that funding projects as well and add manually one more thing called and manually what is the funding type title of the funded project a short description what is the funding amount start date month end year date everything i can add here so that everyone can see this and uh, it will improve the visibility of my project as well the next one is the box this is nothing but the projects which i have submitted i mean published till now i have done almost 140 pub publications but i have added only 35 here so if i want to add any publication yes search via search and link add doi add pubmed id and add manually uh, usually i won't add a uh, bib text because or not all publication will have bib text so uh, doi is very simple add doi for example if i copy paste this doi and retrieve from the details from doi it automatically will get upgraded and uh, one more thing here add pubmed id if I paste my PubMed ID, retrieve my details from PubMed, it will automatically get added. The very difficult thing is add manually. I have to save the category, title, subtitle, journal title, publication date, link, citation type, everything I have to add manually here to get into ORSED. So we can add whatever we want to add or if we want to retrieve from PubMed or DOI, we can retrieve it and we can put it here. The last one is peer review. So a few journals will ask whether this re review has to be shown endorsed in PubLons or ORSID. Yes, if you give ORSID, they will give the review activity. This is the journal cell communication and signaling. They have given the review activity here. If we want to sort out in the order ascending to descending or descending to ascending or month wise, we can do accordingly. This is in brief about ORSID. And the next one is Publons. See, this is Publons. Uh, first, I will, if at all we are having, uh, I'm logging out and I will log in again. If, or, uh, if at all we are had, having any uh, Publons ID, we can log, register that login directly or else we have to register. Now I'm going to log in. So we can use login via mail ID or else we can use via Facebook, Google. Uh, this one is uh, Orsid ID, Hangout on LinkedIn. So I have my ID password and signing in. Publons is the part of Web of Science community. And this is our uh, Web of Science researcher ID, ABB. This is my ID, ABB 8464-2020. And uh, this is the home page which we are seeing. So dashboard summary. If you go to the public profile, yes, it will show how many publications is linked with Publons, how many times cited, Hutch Index and verified reviews. So this will be there. And uh, this is the overall summary and a matrix will be shown. What is the H index for each and every year will be shown here. And what all the documents comes on a web of science, how many times cited, average citations per year, everything will be shown here. So this is the general matrix. And the next one is publications. Here, what are all publications has been included here? I have entered only a few publications here. So it is showing here. I will tell you how to add it up in the subsequent uh, things. The next one is export Publon CV. If you want Publon CV, yes, you can export from which date to which date, in which format you want, what are all metrics you have to add in the CV, you can add it up. The third one is citation map. 
this is just an overall view of the whole world where all the citation has been happened this red one shows where the original study happened and then the blue one shows where all it is getting cited being cited so you can go very depth up by zooming in and zooming out if i zoom in for example i'm zooming in india sorry See, in New Delhi, near New Delhi, they have done, uh, they have done two citations. Even I can locate which university or which uh, institute has cited our papers. So these are all things we can see in the citation map. The next one is my records. This my records has publications. Here I can add all my publications depending upon the title, author name. If it is web of collection, yes, I can do web of science collection. All those things I can put, I can add. See, as of now, I have done only a few things. Remaining things we can add it up whenever we have we require. But it is always uh, good to have a complete cited, uh, I mean, completely filled publons or or zip profile for the research community to see and to increase the impact of our research. The next one is peer reviews. How to get a review added here? For example, if I'm doing, for, uh, I'm the editor, one of the editor in International Journal of Orthopedic Chromatology. Now, if I'm reviewing a review, I'll be giving, uh, I'll be given a manuscript to review. I have reviewed now. I have sent it back to the uh, journal. Now we have to ask the journal, journal uh, editorial go, not the editor, managing editor. There will be a managing editor from the publication side. So if I ask them to send the review acknowledgement, yes, they will send in our mail ID. From the mail ID, we can directly transfer to publons at the uh, mail ID called editsandpublons.com. We can add in that way. That will be easy so that it directly go to publons and publons will directly add our uh, review, whatever peer review we have done. The second thing, how we can do is add a review. This is manual review. We have to write journal name, all the things we have to add here. Then it will direct, it, it is a sec two, two way process. It will directly communicate with the journal and the journal has to give approval. Then it will be added into our uh, profile. That is 